the technology. First off, I'd like to acknowledge uh, all the veterans in the room. So any of those that have served, would you stand so I could recognize you? Also, are there men and women here that have veterans in their families? I'd like to acknowledge you. <laughs> you know, last year I had an opportunity to come here uh, because a good friend of mine that uh, I've grown to love over the years. Rochelle, who's now my business partner, suggested I go on a road trip. And I love road trips. So I said yes, and I wanted to check out what this floating was. I was help, helped her wire up her tank when she got it. So this looked pretty cool. So I came up here. Little did I know when I got here that I was going to fall in love with an industry. You know, I'm coming up on 70 years old. And I've never felt younger in my life than I did when I came up here the other day, which is about a year ago. That being said, all these folks that I met up here, there was something that inspired me to, to what I call saddle up for another rodeo. I've already accomplished a great many things in my life. And it's all been around service to others. It started out early when I was uh, a recovering drug addict and alcoholic. The first 17 years from uh, my return from Vietnam uh, after a short career as a firefighter where I got to save lives instead of taking lives, I used self-medication as a means to deal with the trauma that was stored in my pain body. And I never had a decent night's sleep in all those years except in a blackout condition. So I was hopefully lost to drugs and alcohol, along with a lot of other crazy kind of behavior that was really reckless behavior. That being said, I've spent the last 29 years of my life, coming up on 30, clean and sober. Yeah. I no longer take medication, except mostly vitamins, and I take it only when it's prescribed, and that's very rarely. The point that I'm trying to make is I found a way in 1986 as a result of a death experience to go on the inward journey. So for the past uh, 17 years, I've been on this inner, inner journey of self-examination, awareness, how it is I continue to do what I do. So in the slide that I put up here, it's a real simple question, who am I? You know, am I the 19-year-old guy that got drafted and went off to Vietnam only to find out that if I didn't do what I had to do, I would be dead? This is the first time in public I've worn this rack outside of a veteran community. And I do that to acknowledge you and the courage that you show me when I'm here, when I was here last time and when I'm here today, that you have the right stuff to make a difference. I'm here to provide an opportunity for you in the float industry to change health care in our country. Because if we don't get our country back, we won't have much to work for. We've got a mess on our hands. The young men and women that are coming back don't have a chance. In Vietnam, we made work. We made it do. We, we, we're recon. We make things happen. When I came back, I didn't have any help. I went to the VA in 1981 prior to the diagnosis of post-traumatic stress disorder because I got in a barroom fight and I was going to prison. I was going to prison because I was arrested for assault with a deadly weapon, which was me, because I didn't give a shit about you. If you tried to hurt me, I would kill you. Just that simple. I'm personally responsible for the death of thousands of human beings, because I was a forward auxiliary. I directed artillery. I made shit go away. The rack I wear is not because I'm anything special. It's because a lot of men that loved me gave their life so I could be here today. Until you've walked in another man's shoes, you're not entitled to your opinion. I work with veterans. I work with the level of the soul. I work with heart energy. I'm a healer of broken souls. My combat experience 
as a result of 85 combat missions back in the day when there were no rules of engagement, gives me the credibility in the front of a room full of broken veterans. They follow me because I got their back. I speak for them today because they cannot speak for themselves because of what you might think. So we're here today as a team from Internal Wisdom Pathways to Purpose, not only to acknowledge the float industry for the incredible contribution, the capacity that you have to make a difference at a quantum level, because who we are as one makes a difference. Who we are as individuals is just a bunch of guys and gals trying to survive. I'm tired of surviving. I want to thrive in my life. I want to be a contribution to mankind again. You know, I went to war at 19, not because I had a choice. I went to war because I was drafted. These men and women go because they choose to go. And I guarantee you, when I went to the VA in 2005, having retired for the third time, financially very successful, I walked into the VA to get some med help with health care because I completed my third wife, my marriage, and I had no health insurance. And for nine months, I sat in the waiting rooms at the VA hospitals. And I watched the sadness and despair in these young men and women, a lot of them with the emotional and physical trauma that is beyond my imagination. Back in my day, they put us in bags, put a tag on our toe, and that was it. Okay? These kids are coming home. And there's no real care being offered. Despite the efforts of the VA, I work with the VA on a very large scale. I'm recon. I'm just a guy that went to war. And I'm a guy that came back. And I was afraid of what you'd think of me for what I'd done. So I built an imagination that kept you from me so that you couldn't hurt me. When you go to war and you step out Side the lines outside downrange. You only got your buddy. There's nothing else. And when it comes down to them or you, you choose. So I stand here today to choose you as part of the possibility for us to take back using the float industry as a means, like the young man that was for me. I mean, that's just, it gives me such hope and confidence that there's still an opportunity, there's still time for us to turn this around as one, as a team, to let go of our differences and look for our similarities in such a way that we can open our hearts and speak the language of the heart. If every day and every moment of time, your float experience that you have in a pod, a tank, a room, meditation along the river, doesn't matter where, but if every moment of every day it could be that way, look at the world we would live in, a world of possibilities where we support and honor and respect one another for who we are and who we're not. The industry, I floated. I took 90 days. I, came, I left here. I said, I'm going to do 90 days. 90 minutes, 90 days. See what happens. That's just a lay eight stuff. Do 90 meetings in 90 days, you'll never drink again. OK, I'll try it. I haven't had a drink since, so obviously it worked. <laughs> so I said, 90 meetings in 90 days. So what I do, I go back to Michelle's. OK, we're going to do 90 meetings in 90 days. And about 45 days later, Thanks to Dave Seafelt, wherever he's at, he came up with this crazy idea. He said, why don't you check this out? I'll bring it down and show it to you. We'll figure it out. Well, what do I do? Good alcoholic. I reverse engineer it. Next thing you know, we got the revival Lounge. It's like, wow. And it was all as a possibility because if you follow your passion and you step into the possibility without experience of what other people think, we can change healthcare in this country. So for those of you that are up to a challenge, I would invite you to stop by and see us because we're looking to raise an army. Not only to self help our veterans, but to take our country back, to be responsible for our health care, to take responsibility instead of being a victim. You know, I know the VA really well. They try their very, very best, but it isn't going to come from the head. It will only come from the heart. And when you generate from the heart, you must be willing to risk being hurt. And I got a big heart. So if you want to play the game with us, stop by and see us.
Thank you, and I want to acknowledge you for all the service that you provide. Thank you.